In much of the world, Christianity is in decline, a relic much like this church, one of the oldest in Britain. But even as an atheist, I don't want to see the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth go the same way as these ruins. As a lapsed Catholic and a failed Methodist, I grew up steeped in the teachings of Jesus. So when I hear people say blithely, Jesus said this or Jesus taught that, I often know that they're wrong. Jesus is actually a much more surprising and challenging thinker than a lot of people give him credit for. Jesus is often portrayed as a friend of the poor and the weak. Blessed be ye poor. When thou makest a feast, call ye the poor, the lame, the maimed, the blind. At the same time, he notoriously allowed himself to be anointed with very expensive ointments, which, as Judas Iscariot pointed out, could have been sold for more than 300 pence and given to the poor. In his defense, Jesus says, for ye have the poor with you always. There's no contradiction here. If being poor is no bad thing, as in some ways the sources of, of many blessings, then alleviating it simply isn't the highest priority. In some ways, the poor are even at an advantage. The rich are burdened by their wealth. You can't pass through the narrow gate if you're laden with worldly goods. Wealth actually distracts us from what really matters. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So our primary task is not to feed the poor or help the sick, but to purify ourselves, to achieve metanoia, a change of mind and heart. That's why giving away what we own is presented as something that primarily benefits the giver, not the receiver. The reason Jesus gives to invite the poor to the feast is not that so they will enjoy it, but because they cannot recompense thee. Jesus does not leave us with a set of clear moral rules. Do this, don't do that. Much more importantly and more challengingly, he tells us that if we're serious about living well, we all have to work hard to change ourselves to the very core. This message has power whether you believe Jesus was the Son of God or not.